Uh, one, one other question I had for you on uh, using the machine to spot weld. Uh-huh. Um, like uh, on the roofs of some of our smoke houses, we'll have like an 18 gauge or 16 gauge skin uh, spot welded to a piece of say inch and a half square tube or two inch square tube. And okay. previously we would put a hole in the skin and plug weld. Um, if we machine <clears throat> to spot weld, what typical settings would you use to spot weld? Uh, so there is the tack welding settings um let me see also i forgot to ask do you guys have the xc or the xr machine xr they got the xr, XR. <laughs> okay yeah that, that's what i'm using now too i just want to make sure so the settings will work out for you uh so for the spot weld you said like 18 gauge something like this to 18, yeah, 18 or 16 gauge onto a piece of tubing which we, you could simulate with a piece of 11 gauge because it's usually about a one eight wall Tube. Okay. Yeah. So I'll go ahead and do this. That's about right. Um, so what I would do is <clears throat> I would go to this tack setting. Now, the same thing that you saw me do with that last setting, you can make your own setting and make it wider for a bigger spot and you can really right. dial it in. But I typically just use this one. So I'd go stainless, stainless steel, which is A0. And then my, depending on how deep I want to penetrate, um, you know, the 18 gauge, I, I don't know this thickness offhand but it looks to be about maybe like well, eight, uh, 18 gauge is 048 048 okay so this is probably a little thinner than 18 gauge here i think this one this one is maybe 18 gauge um, okay so this i'll go <clears throat> uh at least double this right because i want to have you know a good amount of penetration into the next part right. and that the eighty thousand setting calls for 400 watts i don't think i need eighth inch penetration on there but you know, somewhere in between 400 and 700. Right. So I'm going to try maybe 600 right now. So I'll, I'll do A0 on my settings. That's 600. And then I'm going to uh, remove this. Um, you probably will just take the clamp off their wire feeder clamp part, but... Right. Um, but I recommend maybe getting an extra nozzle so you can just do what I'm going to do here. Yeah, I think I've actually, I can't remember whether I bought an extra nozzle or not, but uh, I do need to get some. Okay. Yeah, let, let Glenn know and because uh, we can get you those. You can actually order them from our website if you want. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to put this one on, the fork tip for spot welding. Right. And then uh, with the with that ten mil extension, the standard one, right? And then um, yeah, what, make let, me, sure. let me let me ask you another question. Why you you just mentioned that the ten millimeter extension? What is the difference between the ten and the seven millimeter extension on the unit <clears> as far as the way the unit performs? Um, so the only the only time you'll ever need to use the seven millimeter extension is. Uh, if you are wire welding aluminum. Okay. And the reason being is that uh, aluminum is much more reflective to this infrared wavelength of light than steel right. is. So the focus is more critical. Um, with the stainless, the standard extension works just fine. Even that with that little distance off the surface you end up with, with the wire. Like, you know, the right. wire is going to push the gun off the surface, just, you know, however thick the wire is. Right. Um, but with aluminum, that can be detrimental to the results. So you'll run the seven mil extension and that puts you like a little, your focus a little bit farther into the, the material. Okay. Does it hurt anything or do, would it, would it work to use the seven millimeter extension with stainless if you, I mean, what happens if you do that? Yeah, it should work just fine with stainless. The okay. stainless is really forgiving. You can be out of focus by quite a lot with stainless, and it it still works good. Okay. Uh, but I think what I heard is that you don't want to be any more than four millimeters out of focus, and that seven millimeter right. extension puts you three millimeters three. out of focus. Right. So okay. I would rec I would recommend using the ten with stainless, okay. but it'll it'll probably work fine either way. Okay. On so cleaning a, on uh, on the cleaning setting, does it? Well, you're using the cleaning nozzle, so that won't matter. Okay, all right, never mind. Dumb question. <laughs> no worries. 
Yeah, there is actually differences between the, the lengths on the XR and XC for the cleaning. You see that? Right. So there is some, you know, they, they put some focus in those as well. Okay. Okay, so I, th I got this tubing here. This is probably similar maybe to what okay. you're doing. Right. And then the 18 gauge. So so I've set the settings, how I set how I mentioned, A0, 600 watts. And then I'm just going to pull the trigger and let it finish off its uh, cycle. I've never seen it yet. How do you and know I, when to stop? I had to buy my power. Depending on time power. Out. I kind of yeah, it's now. just pulling the trigger. Right, so yeah. it times out automatically yeah. on the yeah. tack welding. That's nice. Yeah, so you see that that, that power setting, um, you can see a little brown spots right there. Right. But if I want more, if it needs to be a little bit stronger, uh, what I'll do is in between here, I'll, I'll crank the power maybe another 150 watts. I'll go to 750. Everything else remaining the same. And then I'll, I'll show you that there'll be a little bit more heat in there. Oh, wow. Well, there's a seam All right the there. Thing, so hard to the see. Seam, yeah. <laughs> you can see that one right there. There's more heat. Right. So it's just a matter of uh, turning up your power to get through more material. Like say I wanted to do, you know, two of these uh, 11 gauge pieces. It's kind of kind of pushing it a little bit, but I'll just max my power out. Oops. And I, I might need to make a custom setting for this thick of material because I'd need to, um, you know, I want a little bit longer time. But you see, it actually did work pretty good. Right. So it's yeah, just a we, matter of power. But that A0 is the setting I use for, I just go with the, the tack setting. Okay, because um, we've been doing some destructive testing on some of the wells that we've done, just regular fillet wells. And I wanted to do some spot welding and then do some destructive testing on it and see the material should tear before the weld breaks loose. So uh, just wanted to kind of see how strong they actually were. Yeah, I, I would say just because I've seen ones that I've done where the material tears and I've seen ones where it pulls the entire weld nugget out of the, <laughs> the top surface right. without tearing it. Right. Um, but again, you, you can dial it in with that same with that same process as the other thing, uh, you okay. can you know add time to the tack weld and you can add width and uh, ramp up and ramp down time will change the, or the ramp down time mainly will change the surface finish at the end. So if you ramp the power down slowly, you'll have a, you should have a flatter puddle at the end. Whereas if you kind of just turn the laser off while it's depressed, it might have a little divot in it. So, right. uh, but there's, there's a lot of playing you can do with that, with that user interface. Okay. All right. Well, you got any more questions for you? Okay. All right. Well, I really appreciate your help on this and we'll play with the user settings. And uh, if anything blows up or burns down, we'll give you another call. And you can help okay. us through it. All right. Cool. I appreciate it. No problem. Have a good one. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.